Hey guys, Jay here. I'm um, just going to do a quick video on something I've been looking for online and I'm not seeing a lot of footage and that's just how to camouflage your kayak for duck hunting. And sorry for the shades today, but I look like a bag of hammers. Dudley, my dog, got into something and he was up every 45 minutes last night having to be let out to uh, deal with the stomach issues he was getting at. So sorry about the glasses and the shades, but honestly I look like a bag of hammers. Uh, I look rough. Um, but like I say, this video is just going to be a quick video on, on a how-to on how to camouflage your kayak. I have uh, a 10-foot Pelican kayak and it's bright blue, so not the right color pattern or scheme for when you're going into a marsh to hunt ducks and geese and waterfowl. And I really couldn't find a lot online. Um, there's great yaks out there, but I just didn't want to be buying a, a brand new camouflage one just because of the, the investment and cost. And I know a lot of guys are putting layout blinds on top. Can't really do that with the type of... Uh, uh, kayak I have. I'll show you and then I'll show you my solution and like any other video I do on this channel if you got ideas, tips or suggestions or solutions please put them in the comments below. Anybody who's watching the video is gonna gain from that. So it's all about helping each other out guys so uh, without further um, comments I'm just gonna jump into the video. Okay guys so this is the kayak I have and it's a little dirty uh, going down back roads doing some backcountry fishing and actually I was scouting with this the last time I had it out. It was awesome scouting for ducks. So as you can see it's it's blue, really blue and it's a 10 foot uh, Pelican Mission 100 and uh, I'm not I don't want to cut it up or chop it or anything I'm just looking for a way to camouflage this quick and easy uh, and efficiently and not break the bank. So uh, my solution is I'm going to be using this I picked this up off Amazon it's just a kayak cover um, I'm gonna cut like a, a tab into it this is the underside which is the silver and uh, it will do the job it's better than this bright blue so uh, let's get it on and I'll show you how it looks Okay, so it went on pretty quick. I'm just, the uh, camera's gonna get shaky because I'm gonna take it off the tripod here. Okay, so, there you go. It's not a bad color pattern, um, especially for later in the season, but I do plan to brush this up. I, I may add some burlap to it and everything else, but uh, as you can see, the underside, which is blue, is pretty well hidden. So even the, the nose or the keel, Okay, and like I say, I got this off Amazon. Um, I can put it in the links down below. And uh, here's the cockpit area. Okay. So as you can see, you can see a little bit of the blue. So really, that's pretty good for a quick solution for a hide. And um, I may throw a burlap on. I've got camouflage burlap, as you can see. I may add it to it. I'm on the fence. We'll see. But the next step is, is uh, I'm going to be cutting into the material here to uh, allow me a, a cockpit. So I'm going to probably cut a, a rectangular shape. Um, just, I just want enough room to get my body in here. I don't want to cut away. So if I have overhang because I'm cutting uh, just a rectangular shape, that's great. That way it'll drape over and uh, hopefully minimize how much blue is shown. Okay. So... That's the start, is uh, basically I just got a camouflage kayak cover and even if it lasts just the one season I didn't spend a whole lot of money on it, 35 bucks off Amazon and it was here in a couple of days so um, alright, on to the next step. Okay so what I've also done here is uh, I've put my uh, 
tackle box, which is heavy, it's loaded, it's got a lot of a lot of tackle in it. I put it in the back hatch here just to take up the slack or to take more of the material. So when I do put any of my, my gear in the back here, which would probably be more like my just my, my shells or whatnot, uh, it simulates the weight, so I've taken up more of the material to compensate for it. This way uh, I've still got proper covering to my liking, and uh, now I'm just going to take scissors and I'm going to cut out the, uh, the cockpit area. Okay, so um, this is the first time me doing th doing this type of camouflaging technique. I've camouflaged all kinds of gear in the year over the years, but never a kayak. So what I'm doing is I, I'm trying to find a center mark, which I, I poked a hole here, um, going to give myself a little bit of excess so it comes down the seat. That way it can hang over, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut away my my space now. And this stuff rips easy, so good to know. I don't need a lot of room to get in. And because it rips easy, see, look how silver that is. So, um, because it rips easy, when I get into the field, um, I can make allowances and adjust it, but I think that's perfect. So there you go. So I think that's okay. Um, I'll be able to get my butt in there, and uh, it, it does offer me some some camouflage, certainly more than I had. Uh, I do plan to use this tomorrow morning, so you guys will see footage of me actually using it. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm thinking it'll be okay. Yep. That should work, and like I say, uh, I may I may add more to it. There you go. Let me look at that. That's a marked improvement from it being the uh, bright baby blue that it was, right? And uh, I'm going to get a bit of drag, but honestly, this is a small, incredibly light kayak. That's part of the reason why I did get it earlier in the season. Uh, it's not even 40 pounds. It's 37 or 38 pounds. It's very easy to move. So even with added gear or added drag, I'm really not worried about it. Uh, I scouted the area so I know exactly what I'm getting into, and um, um, it should work out, but we'll see. Well, like I said, I've never done this before. It's new to me, and I don't want to paint it. So, here we go. This is it outside. It's a little shinier than uh, and reflective than I was expecting. So, I'm uh, going to attach some burlap to it. I've got camouflage burlap, but I don't see the point in cutting it up until I know this is actually going to work. And uh, what I did is I've, I've run some cheap paracord through it. Um, and then on the front for the nose, I've actually used zip ties here underneath so I'm definitely gonna have even more drag but like I say it's gonna be short paddles and I'm not out to win a race I'm more about getting to the spot and I guess retrieving if need be so and where I'm actually hunting it's between one or actually less than about six inches to four feet deep that's the total depth I'm gonna be dealing with so this should all work out but uh, just updating it as I go along and uh, as you can see the burlap uh, this may work out okay We'll find out. Okay, so I went nuts. That's just me, if you know me by nature. Always overdo it. So I ended up going with uh, more burlap. I still have the uh, the kayak cover on underneath. I don't know if this burlap's gonna last. I honestly think I'm gonna lose it on the, just on the drive out. But if it holds up, great. I'll be able to brush it up. If not, I know that the cover will still be there and I can do what I was planning to do, which is beach it. Um, but either way, I've really minimized a lot of the blue and um, you can see it's just in the cockpit where I'll be sitting and I'll be wearing my waders and camouflage anyway. So there you go. And the way I did this is I used uh, just gardening burlap here. I had it handy so I just used it and uh, I cut it out into two pieces. I probably could have gone with just one straight piece but what I did is I I used some of the para, some of the cheaper paracord that I had, and uh, I tied it around, and then I used uh, black zip ties. I took up the slack, bunched it up, 
and um, use black zip ties to uh, secure them. And again, same thing on the back, black zip ties holding it. So, like I say, I'm not out to win races with this. Um, it's just about getting to the spot and back and uh, not really doing any heavy power strokes or anything, so it should work. And brushed up once in the marsh. I mean, uh, if this all stays together on the drive out, this is going to be great for hunting out of. Um, certainly a lot more concealment, concealment than using a blue kayak that I did not want to paint. So, yeah, different, uh, different way of doing it. Uh, like I said, I couldn't really find anything online with videos or how-tos other than just pictures. And I didn't want to use the chicken wire or fence setup or anything over complicated. This was honestly really easy. It took me about maybe 20 minutes to do it all together with stuff I had around the house. And uh, we'll see how it works out tomorrow, which I will uh, hopefully have some footage on. So, um, yeah, that's my camouflage solution in my kayak without breaking the bank. Total, it cost me not even $40 for everything. So.
Nice! Gotta say, first day out, first try out with the camouflage. I added some brushing to it loosely, um, but it certainly worked. It's been a slow day. I've talked to other hunters. Some guys only had one. We've got three here. And uh, in case you're wondering about gear, I'm pulling out my Jet Sled Junior. As you can see, it floats. I've got ammunition and all the other gear I would need for, for duck hunting in the marsh. And like I say, uh, camouflage burlap. Everything worked out just great.